here at the Jason Williams campaign, and it appears he will be in a runoff with Cynthia Hedgemorrell for Council at Large Division Two. How are you feeling right now, James? I feel great. I feel great. I'm humbled by the, the massive amount of support that we got in every single community in this city. Uh, we, we have the most diverse support that I've ever seen in this city, and I'm humbled by the Vietnamese community, the Latin American community, the white community, the black community, um, every age, every socioeconomic uh, class, every street is represented uh, in our campaign and in our support, and I'm very humbled by it. How are you ge gearing up for the runoff now? Well, we're going to do we're going to do the same thing we've been doing, which is to not just talk about the problems. We're going to talk about the very real solutions and ideas that we have to move the city forward. People know what the problems are. Anyone can see that. A blind person can see that. But folks want to hear that there is a vision uh, to move the city forward. Atlanta and Houston, those cities had vision, and they they far surpassed where we were from a time when we were uh, the bell of the south. So, what is your vision for moving the city forward? My vision is to is to create real opportunities for our young people and for our locals. So, as we have this boom of economic development that you are seeing uh, in the biomedical corridor, that you will see as the RTA expands down the St. Claude corridor and the petrochemical corridor between here and Baton Rouge. When those jobs come online, I want to make sure locals are getting those jobs so that we can grow our middle class in one term. And in growing our middle class, we can get rid of the residency requirement for police officers, and police officers will want to stay in Orleans Parish because there's a good quality of life in Orleans Parish. I know you've said crime is your number one priority. How do you plan to address that very quickly? Well, I, I, want, I want to do as much as we can to invest in youth and family services, and basically intervening uh, in a high-risk uh, person's life before there ever is a crime that occurs, before there's ever a victim. I mean, that's what smart cities are doing, and what that does is it allows you to spend less in the area of criminal justice. There are some cities with little to no crime because they're investing in what they see as problem areas and problem situations before it uh, manifests itself into the criminal justice system. Jason Williams, congratulations and good luck. Thank you so much. And again, we're here in the French Quarter at the Jason Williams uh, election results watch party, and it appears that he will be in a runoff for Council at Large Division 2 with Cynthia Hedge Morrell. Live in the French Quarter, Monica Hernandez, Eyewitness News. We're at the Cynthia Hedge Morrell watch party tonight in Gentilly, where the City Council at Large Division 2 race is getting, it's close. Uh, it's Cynthia, you're here with us. How are you feeling? It looks like it's predicted to be a runoff. Well, you know, I'm, I'm fired up, of course. Because I think we got our message out. I think it was a very positive message. I think we, I think we stayed on point, and we tried to give the citizens a clear, clear vision of what we brought to the table. So whenever you have three candidates, and I had two very good candidates running in the race with me, of course I think I'm the best, and I think that I offer more to the city of New Orleans. But. Uh, it appears that it's going to be a runoff, and I look forward to that. I look forward to having the opportunity to really give the citizens of New Orleans a clear picture of the knowledge that I bring to the table, the consistency I bring, and how we can help move this city forward. Runoffs, it's exhausting, but you're ready to do this if, if you oh, have yeah. to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my, I have a bunch of kids that are going to help me, and I have a bunch of uh, friends that have been out here. You know, I met so many people that volunteered and helped me on this race. Um, I'll give them a couple of days off, and then we're going to hit the road again and get the message out to the citizens. And moving forward again, if you are elected in the next four years, some of your main points, some of the things that you really want to focus on. Well, as I've talked about d throughout this race, crime is something that is going to have to have a short-term goals and long term. Short term we have to beef up our police department. Long term we have to look at changing how we present opportunities to the 52 to 55 percent of the African American males in this city that are having a hard time finding jobs, which rolls me into the next one which is economic development. There are many projects that are going to be coming forward with the new hospital, with the new airport, and with uh, just the social and economic development that's going on in the city. We've got to make sure that we not only boost the big companies that come in, but we've got to work with the small companies. Because historically, you know, the small companies are the ones that employ local people. 